So I'm joined by Peter Watson from BMW Group. Afternoon, Peter. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, now, this is the first time I've seen the lovely i3 from BMW, but is this the first electric car that BMW have ever produced for the consumer market? I think it's the first BMW that they produced for the consumer market, but back in 1972 at the Munich Olympics, BMW launched an electric car prototype, and that's been developed as battery technologies come on board, resulting in this as the first commercial car. And um, is this a big step for BMW to move into that market with this vehicle that we're uh, looking at here currently? It's a huge step. There's lots and lots of new technology. It's got carbon fibre, um, monocot, the battery technology, the range extender technology. It is a huge step and a huge investment from BMW to move into electric vehicles. And have they felt the reason they've done this is the time right for them to move into that area of the marketplace? I think BMW has always had a history of driving and striving for markets. If you take like the X5 when we produced that car, it was a sports utility vehicle. And BMW have always strived to produce cars for a market and produce markets for the cars that they've produced. I think with fuel prices and company car taxation and people being very environmentally aware, cities looking at zero emission areas, etc., there is now a market for producing pure electric vehicles. And do people worry about the power of an electric vehicle uh, in comparison to a petrol or, or diesel, whether it's going to be pokey or whether once the range is becoming reduced, the, range the, power... Doesn't, the power doesn't change at all as the battery diminishes. The, the performance of the vehicle stays the same. It's on or off. It does switch off. And I think we're going to go and have a drive later and I think you'll be impressed by the performance. It's still not 60 in under 8 seconds. It is everything a BMW should be to drive. Thank you.